welcome to PV Magazine Live. We're here at the Solar Power International Trade Show in Las Vegas, and as part two of our coverage of this show, we're going to be focusing on energy storage. We're going to look a little bit about at markets, at the increasing geographic diversification of energy storage, and we're also going to have a look at some interesting and novel projects here at the show. In the most recent energy storage monitor, I know that the Q2 number was impressive, 41 megawatts, but it was also only a 1% growth year over year from Q2 of 2015. Now, obviously, the energy storage market is supposed to grow very rapidly, but this seems a bit bumpy. What's going on here? Well, uh, as with any uh, new market, a new uh, nascent technology such as energy storage, there are going to be some ups and downs, and uh, the, there are a few indicators that that do uh, help us, you know, sort of take that with a, with a, you know, with the right spirit. Uh, one of them actually being the fact that you, although the the market grew only one percent year over year, there was definitely an upward swing quarter over quarter since Q1. At the same time, uh, the behind the meter segment continued to grow at at a uh, at a good healthy rate. Uh, the the front of the meter on the on the flip side uh, it was one of the reasons why the, the the annual growth wasn't as high, but that's also bec- that's also an indication that the the market is diversifying in terms of uh, in front of the meter deployments. So, for instance, the largest deployment uh, in Q2 was not in fact in California or PJM; it was in in, in the MISO territory uh, in, in the state of Indiana. What do you see going on right now for commercial and industrial energy storage markets in the United States? Well, the market's really being led by California, and what's happened is, as a result of the success of solar, the utilities have put in place demand charges, and they have gotten to the point where, for an average customer in California, they can be more than half of the bill. The way to solve that, obviously, is to put in a storage system to take care of those peak needs for the commercial and industrial customer. When we look more broadly, we see places like New York that have high time of use charges, and we see this declining cost of batteries and increasing demand charges all around the country, so that over the next couple years, you're going to see many states in the U.S. have a need for a solution where you can use batteries to mitigate demand charge management. So you're truly not just solving a problem, but is a real financial driver to put a system in versus just wanting to be green or have a green policy. Overall, what are the dynamics that you're seeing in the U.S. residential energy storage market? The U.S. market is very dynamic, so if we look from a global point of perspective, for us it's the most important market next to Germany, so we see that there is lots of growth. We have been delivering since March to hundreds of installers, um, basically everywhere, from Cayman Islands to Hawaii, so it's very dynamic. Things are changing um, due to regulated changes, net metering is changing, it's very dynamic and it's exciting. That's great to hear. Now, obviously, we know that California is a significant energy storage market, but I don't think we hear as much about some of the other state markets. To you, other than California, what are the most significant state markets for Zonin's business? We have a significant market in every state where backup plays an important role. So there are many people who are interested in having energy security. So they want to be sure that in a, in a, in a case of a grid failure, that they are secure and that they have air conditioning, that they have refrigerators, and that they have clean energy. Yeah, so, and this is a driver that we see across the nation. Yeah, so it's the only driver that we actually see in every state. People are increasingly interested in supplying themselves with clean energy and be secure in case of grid failure. Now, I understand there are some distinct other technical advantages to this, such as the ability to go not only DC to AC, but back AC to DC. And this is why uh, ideal power converters products are so important for energy storage. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, it is a truly a bi-directional technology. So anything that's going to use storage, whether it's standalone storage for demand charge management, the combination of solar and storage, or microgrids, where you need to cycle power both to charge and discharge the batteries, you want to do that hopefully with one power converter rather than having to use multiple devices the way it's done today. And you want to do that as efficiently as possible. And what we've seen from third-party testing is the unique attributes of our technology mean that round-trip efficiency for things like batteries ends up being 8 to 10 percentage points higher with our technology versus a conventional power converter. That means a lot more useful life out of the same size batteries. Let's quickly go over the AC battery again. You know, what it is and what makes it so special. All right. Well, so what the AC battery does is it brings and phases modular microinverter tech technology to a whole new application, so that's energy storage. So each of these batteries uh, has a microinverter in it working with battery chemistry. Uh, It's super safe uh, lithium iron phosphate. Lithium ferrous phosphate. That's right. That's another word for it, lithium ferrous phosphate, uh, that then can be used to store the energy from the sun for use when it's actually needed in the home. And it's really that simple. 
Is there anyone else making an AC battery out there? No, I think we're the only AC battery. Uh, now, of course, the battery itself is DC. But because of our technology, all of the wiring, everything the installer needs to work with is actually all AC, which makes for a very simple installation. Thank you for joining us for our special coverage of the 2016 Solar Power International Trade Show in Las Vegas. For PV Magazine Live, this is Christian Roseland.